Hello guys, welcome back. So today we have another ID video for this beautiful Meltoniopsis orchid. This is a hybrid between Meltoniopsis Hera Alexandra and Maria Sugiyama and it is not a registered hybrid. I had purchased it from Equahenera in November and you can watch the unboxing video in the right corner of the screen. It came in spike to me and I was not expecting for the buds to survive but behold she is in bloom. Now as you will see in the unboxing video the orchid has fusarium so the blooming of this orchid makes it even more surprising. This makes me believe that this is a particular strong individual because as far as I know this orchid it is seed grown and Meltoniopsis are not among the most resilient orchids. I find that my particular hybrid took more from the seed parent, Mary Sugema, as you can see in the pictures. I found the blooms of this orchid to be extremely pretty. The petals are purple in color with two dark red stripes that kind of look like two eyes. The left and the right sepal are pure white while the upright sepal it is white with a splash of purple making the top part of the bloom look like a mask. The lip of the orchid it is absolutely gorgeous with that dark red waterfall on the white background. The overall appearance of the blooms makes me think at a mask with a beer. When the sun hits the bloom. The white becomes translucent and the tiny sparkles make the blooms shine of beauty. What I love most about this orchid and Meltoniopsis in general it is their gorgeous fragrance. This particular hybrid possesses an amazingly strong fragrance. It reminds me of roses but it's much more sweet and powerful. It is already in bloom for about a month now and as you can see some blooms are already fading but I have enjoyed at maximum this display. This is the type of fragrance that I love on orchids, the one that you sense that you can almost eat it. It is a very appealing scent, I just love it. Although my orchid didn't have a lot of roots, from November till now it didn't shrivel at all. As you can see the pseudo bulbs are very plump, meaning they exist in roots survived and they like this medium. I had potted my orchid in a 12 cm pot with a mixture of 70% ceramics and 30% leca beads. I have a very useful tutorial about how to care for Meltoniopsis orchids and you can watch it by clicking the info card in the right corner of the screen. I hope more and more orchid lovers will give Meltoniopsis a go because they will reward you with beautiful blooms and very pleasant fragrances. Thank you for watching. If you have liked this video and you found it useful, hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel because I post new orchid videos every single Monday and Friday. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.